Why didn't you get a job or even an internship if you're a student? Is the market being too competitive, requiring high skilled, highly skilled engineers? Can college, just a college, secure your way, your way to land your dream job? That's the topic we're going to discuss and find out at this video. What is up tech learners? In this video going to be an interesting video, maybe a polemic video. <laughs> we are going to explore how the job market has evolved throughout the years. How is it now? That's, that's what I mean. And why college alone might not be enough in comparison, for example, some years ago, just having college degree can secure a job and you are happy. But nowadays, that's not exactly the way it works. And most importantly, what is the solution to all this? How to stand out and secure a dream job or even secure income as an embedded software developer or even an engineer? So let's get started. But before, before I even get started, I need to ask you to please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and leave a nice comment. In the end of this video and if you subscribe you can you have the opportunity to follow my journey through mastering embedded systems and hopefully you can master with me you can master this together anyways all right so back in college you we were exposed to the embedded systems concepts and some embedded system projects and the fundamentals in general but even though despite of this good it laid this good strong foundation technology evolved throughout the years and evolved way faster than we could even imagine as a consequence of this um, evolution the industry in the market started to demand more specialized and more advanced skill sets from engineers or the professionals and the third is not this is my opinion but the standard college curriculum can't always keep up with this uh, rocket skyrocket evolution of technology even though college evolved also evolved throughout the years it the it, it didn't evolve at the same piece as technology evolved. and one of the problem that difference caused mainly to students and etc is we aren't prepared to the market and we always feeling a lack of knowledge in comparison to what the market demands from us and to illustrate that some examples you can see nowadays lots of job descriptions require knowledge for example from, uh, knowledge of um, communication protocols specific communication protocols for example if you want to work on iot uh, industrial iot I, I don't know you might need to know protocols like mqtt https lora etc or if you want to get into automotive domain that it is you might, might need to want to adas or can bus etc or ethernet protocol ethernet ip protocols and the list goes on and many other protocols that I, I don't remember now and I didn't mention yet. and unfortunately many colleges don't cover all those topics what they just do is they give you the basics of network theory for example and you need to make your way up to uh, understand all those protocols and to apply for that job description and also for example for AI embedded systems that is a, an a rising topic which is very important it will be very important in the future if not it is already important and many colleges don't cover ai for embedded systems and also students need to study by themselves to be able to apply uh, for job description which requires uh, ai knowledge and to illustrate a bit more specifically my college in france for example I uh, didn't have AI for embedded systems, so even though there were companies that were offering jobs with embedded systems 
AI for embedded systems, students need to um, know by themselves the knowledge to be able to apply. And I also had limited exposure to network theory. So I just saw the basics and now I work with Ethernet protocols and with advanced devices and I didn't know the network concepts applied to Ethernet protocol. There is lots of obstacles, lots of contradictions, lots of problems, but most important thing, what is the solution for those problems? What is the solution for all those problems, all those obstacles? To start, the main thing you need to know I mean, you should know at this point that you need to be a lifelong learner even after dropping, leaving college. Because many students think that when they leave college, student time is over. But in fact, you are eternal, eternal students. So the study time will never be over. If you want to keep updated with technology evolutions and want to not feel this like lack of knowledge that I felt once and I'm starting to catch up and uh, also making side projects, hands-on projects is no longer just an option. It's a necessary thing, at least in my opinion, because it will give, enhance your debugging, critical thinking and skill set experience and also the exper the practical experience give us the a perspective on how limited our theoretical knowledge is and also what the practical experience gives us is is it can tell us what knowledge which knowledge which topic we're lacking study we're lacking in practice so the practice experience is um, is an opportunity to know in which area you should improve and there is many other benefits but anyway there is this was just a little comment i had about uh, today's embedded uh, market it is not complicated it's a bit challenging in comparison to uh, i'm not sure in comparison i'm not sure how, how it evolved exactly throughout the years but i i i am in a, under the impression that it, it became uh, more challenging than before. But anyway, what do you think about it? Do, do you think I'm just... Uh, that it's, it doesn't make sense what I'm telling you? Do you think this, this is not the case? What's your experience in your college? Did you, did you suffer from any of those problems that I mentioned before? Tell me in the comments. That's it for today. And thank you for watching as always. And don't forget to subscribe and hit this thumbs up button see you next time